A course on pentatonic voicings wouldn't be complete without a chapter on the Mixolydian scale and its related pentatonic substructures. This is a sound that most of you probably associate with McCoy Tyner voicings. The Mixolydian mode has a 7th sus4 sound with an added third. It's true that the Mixolydian scale is usually used on dominant chords with an avoid fourth, but the pentatonic voicings we'll be discussing in this lesson are more oriented to modal music. And in a modal context, the Mixolydian sound needs that third fourth pairing. A good perspective to adopt is to view the Mixolydian as a 7th sus4 chord with tension 3. So in this case, the third plays the role of a tension in the chord. This perspective gives us a way of looking at the third of the chord placed above the fourth, which creates a major seventh. Instead of the dissonant flat nine created by the third with a fourth and octave above, or the 11th, as tension. There are three minor pentatonic substructures that we can use over a Mixolydian chord. The minor pentatonic on the fifth of the chord for an F7 sus4, we can use C minor pentatonic. The one on the sixth of the chord, that's a D minor pentatonic over F7 sus4. And the one on the two of the chord, which is G minor pentatonic over F7 sus4. The minor pentatonic on the second degree, although effective, is not as important because it doesn't offer the best Mixolydian colors. On the other hand, the ones on the fifth and the sixth are excellent and can be used in combination as a pair, giving us that cool McCoy Tyner sound. In this lesson, I'm gonna give you a six step exercise to practice these voicings. Step one, we're gonna practice the chordal on the fifth and on the sixth of a seven sus four chord on the right hand and play the root on the left hand like this. Now take it for a spin through all keys using a minor third modulation pattern. By the way, in our pentatonic voicings course, you'll find the rest of the steps along with an entire course on pentatonic voicings, including jazz standard arrangements using pentatonic voicings, lessons and workouts with not only minor pentatonic voicings, but four other pentatonic scale voicings as well. You'll also find voicing pairings for 2-5 and 5-1 progressions and the entire pentatonic voicings theory explained in detail. If you want to learn more, click on this iCard or the link provided, or visit mdex.com. And of course, all of our members will get access to a PDF with step one in all keys. If you're not a member, you can join by clicking on the join button down below or the link provided. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next video.